Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. Hello, dear children. How all are you doing? I hope you have had a blessed Christmas. Are you ready for today's class? Yes. Before we start our class, let's pray to God. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing all of us together again. We ask for all your blessing. Fill all our hearts with your Holy Spirit so we can learn from the words of your wisdom. Thank you for protecting each one of us. We ask for all blessing in your holy name. Amen. Before we start our lesson today, please have your textbook with you and we're going to start lesson 9 from the New Testament. I hope you remember me. I'm Shija Kivirgis and our lesson name is Jesus Overcome Temptation. Jesus Overcome Temptation and that's in your page number 49. And the Bible portion taken for this lesson is taken from St. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. And each class we study one Bible verse and this class we are learning Deuteronomy 6 verses 13 and the Bible verse is the Lord your God you shall fear him you shall serve Deuteronomy 6 verses 13 the Lord your God you shall fear him you shall serve and why are we learning this lesson what are the objectives like Satan tempted Jesus, we all will be having temptation in our life. But when we worship and serve only God, we can defeat Satan. These are the objectives of the, our lesson. Before we go to our story, let me ask you, have you all won prizes and trophies in your life, in your school, in your church competition? Yes, I see so many of you have won prizes and you might have worked very hard to win that prizes for your exam, your sports, your song, your elocution, your instrumental music. You might have practiced and you might, you might have concentrated all your attention on working hard. It's not easy to get first prize and second prize and third prize. You may have to focus on the task to reach your destination. Same way, we have a lot of temptation in our life. Temptation, that means something we are like getting tempted to do wrong things when we are supposed to do right things. So, in this story, we are learning how Jesus is showing a role model to all of us to stay away from temptation. So, as we talked in the beginning of the class, this Bible portion is taken from St. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. And we can see here, our Lord Jesus Christ was taken to wilderness led by Holy Spirit and he fasted for 40 days and nights and Jesus was very hungry. We all know after fasting we get hungry. We want to eat food. So Satan, the evil spirit or the other name is Agar Karasa, he thought this is the right time to test Jesus and he approached Jesus as we see in Matthew chapter 4 verses 3 he was asking our lord jesus christ if you are the son of god command these stones to become loaves of bread if you are the son of god command these stones to become loaves of bread so when the stone are becoming bread jesus could eat so that's why the evil spirit is trying to 
tell Jesus, but did Jesus listen to evil spirit? No. What did Jesus did? He used God's words to say the reply, and Jesus told to evil spirit. In as we see in Matthew chapter four verses four, one does not live by the bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One does not live by the bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So Jesus defeated Satan using God's word. But Satan was not ready to leave Jesus. He second time took Jesus to the holy city of Jerusalem and he placed Jesus in the pinnacle of the temple. As you see in the picture, pinnacle is like a high place. And he was asking Jesus, as we read in Matthew chapter 4 verse 6, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angel concerning you. And on their hands they will bear you up. So that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Did Jesus listen to evil spirit? No. Again, Jesus used God's words to defeat Satan. And what did Jesus reply? As we see in Matthew chapter 4 verses Seven. Again, it is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, it's written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. So, second time also, Jesus used God's word to defeat Satan. Satan was not ready to quit. What did the evil spirit do? He took Jesus to the high, very high mountain and he showed Jesus all splendors of the world and he said as we read in Matthew chapter 4 verses 9 all these things I'll give you if you will fall down and worship me so did Jesus listen to evil spirit no what was Jesus reply to the third temptation as we see in Matthew chapter 4 verses 10 Ye away with you Satan for it is written worship the Lord your God and serve only him Ye away with you Satan for it's written worship the Lord your God and serve only him so third time the final time Jesus defeated Satan using God's words and devil, the evil spirit, left Jesus and angel minister our Lord Jesus Christ. So what we learn from this story, Jesus was a holy, holy God, son of God. He never did any sin in his life. He led a holy life. Still, the evil spirit or Satan tempted Jesus. And if we all are sinners, we may get into a lot of tests and temptation. And Jesus is showing how to stay away from temptation using God's word and praying and fasting. Jesus is showing us the perfect example. All right. And in your page 52, we can see... In a column, we can see different ways how Satan tried to tempt the kids to stay away from God. So let's read it one by one. The first one, encourage to lie. Is it a good habit? No. We have to discourage to lie. Telling lies is not a good habit. We have to be honest, innocent to our family, parents, teachers, to everybody. Because Children are so cute. Jesus loves children very much. We have to be very innocent. So please do not tell lie. Second one, it's asking, discourage to go to church. No, we have to encourage to go to church. Going to church, worshiping Lord Almighty God. It's the greatest gift in our God. Receiving the Holy Communion. And that's the big gift of God 
we don't know whether we may get another chance tomorrow whether we will be alive we don't know so whenever you get a chance to go to church use it tell your parents brothers and sisters let's go to church let's pray for everybody all right encourage to steal no discourage to steal it's the one of the god's commandment do not steal we have to obey all god commandment so discourage to steal next one encourage to watch tv during the time of prayer no we have to discourage watching tv during the prayer of prayer time because prayer time is completely dedicated for god for praise and worship we cannot be distracted if the distractions we are getting is from evil spirit we have to stay away we have to focus we have to praise our god almighty with our full mind full heart and full body and we have to praise him with full energy when you watch holy kurbana tell the responses loudly sing all the songs you pray for others so prayer time should be completely dedicated to almighty god and we cannot be looking at somebody else and watch what they are doing we cannot be looking at our phone for messages or playing games we cannot watch movie you have to stop the tv and games when you it's a time to pray all right next one discourage to read the bible and sunday school lesson no we have to encourage to read holy bible and sunday school lesson because holy bible is god's words we get lot of wisdom by reading holy bible holy word bible gives us directions for how to do right things when you are in sad time when you are midst of sicknesses you pray to god you open the bible and read god speak through the bible verses it gives you a lot of hope it gives you a lot of encouragement it shows how much god love us because god love us so much he you know he sent his only beloved son jesus christ and jesus died for each one of us on the cross all right so we have to remember his unconditional love all the time so we have to learn the sunday school lesson so we know more about god more about god's love and we have to read holy bible next we can see how we can defeat satan the tempter how listening to god's commandment learning god's words reading holy bible staying away from bad doing bad things loving everybody loving your parents your friends your church friends your church priest your bishop everybody your neighbors your enemies maybe you don't like somebody but still you have to love them because god created everybody you have to love everybody all right and worshiping and praying only to god we have to worship only true god our almighty god we should not have any other god only worship our true god all right and next we can see your coloring activity of the bible verse we study today that's from deuteronomy 6 verses 13 the lord your god you shall fear him you shall serve the Lord your God, you shall fear him, you shall serve. All right, so that concludes our lesson for the day. And let's go review the question and answers. Question one, what was Jesus' first temptation by Satan? So what was the first temptation by Satan? We can see in Matthew chapter 4 verses 3. If you are the son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. Question number two, what is the another name of Satan? And the name of Satan is Agal Karasa or evil spirit. Question number three, what was the Jesus reply to first temptation? 
So what was the Jesus reply to first temptation? We can see in Matthew chapter 4 verses 4. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Question number four. What did J Jesus say to Satan after seeing the kingdom of the world and the splendor from the very high mountain? So it's asking you what is Jesus reply to the temptation. And you can see that in Matthew chapter four, verses 10. Ye way with you, Satan, for it's written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. And the next question number five, how could we defeat Satan, the tempter? By learning and obeying the word of God, by loving our parents, our friends, everybody loving everybody, by worshiping and praying only to God. By worshiping and praying only to God, reading Holy Bible, and uh, I'm sure you, your parents might be telling you when you go to sleep or when you start a journey, when you, you know, prepare for your exam before starting, make a sign of cross. Sign of cross is a sign, sign of victory. Okay, and it gives you protection over so many temptation misfortune so when you start your day start with a prayer read holy bible to get all the blessing for that day and before going to sleep say thank you to all the blessing we have received all right we have to be thankful people and we have to pray every day for others for all the blessing all the merciful things we have received in our life and we need a lot of holy spirit to shower upon us so we can stay away from the sins and to walk with god to lead a holy life so let's pray for that all right i hope you understood today's lesson how jesus show us to stay away from temptation so let's conclude our uh you know class with a prayer okay so let's pray to god lord protect us from the terror by night from the arrow that flies by the day from the plague that travels in the darkness from the destruction of the wind in the noon thank you so much for being amazing kids and good children I hope you all are praying every day and praying for others, praying for all the world in this pandemic period. Be safe, all right? And wishing you a blessed, happy new year, all right? Stay safe. I'll see you in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.